Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise today to uh, talk about my amendment uh, that uh, restores uh, what the governor's office had asked for in regards to PFAS. I want to thank uh, the governor for his leadership on this issue. It's not only a crisis here in Michigan, it will be a national crisis. And when we do have these types of national crisis and state crisis, we should be putting the resources that are necessary to make sure that we fundamentally help solve this problem here in the state of Michigan. We should learn the lessons of the PBB uh, disasters of the 70s and what happened in Flint and make sure that resources are up front put towards uh, handling a crisis of this nature. Uh, I implore our uh, appropriation members, uh, in both in the House and the Senate, uh, that uh, this is a good first step, uh, but that additional $16 million that was requested, uh, that we should be looking at that within the budget process because we're going to only learn more and more about how bad this crisis is as the months go forward. And I want to make sure that as we go into the budget process that we restore what was asked for and be comfortable that we might have to put more resources towards this to help solve this crisis. And so, uh, Mr. Speaker, I offer that amendment. Thank you, Representative. The question before the House is adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.